potentially chase down one or two or three heroes even if, if LGD make a bad engage. So it, it really has to, to work out properly. And you saw the last fight, they did pick out the sniper, but then the support came in and Slada just tracked down one or two heroes and uh, it, it turned out to be a bad fight even though they killed the sniper first. Yeah, and of course, you're right, uh, with Slada needing the farm on top of it. Now we might see a bit of a go on mid. Um, we do see the restoration coming up right now, but uh, it's they've been trying to actually go for this mid here. LGDAU, LGDAU, eh, eh, LGDAU have been trying to use Recliner as bait in that middle lane. Even the Raw coming up from VS tried to go towards the neutral high ground. Um, little did you know SB were actually hiding on top of the, uh, the secret shop. Um, high ground, waiting to actually try and initiate from there with the uh, with the v the uh, wind runner hanging around. Because while this is happening, Dab is still free farming that bottom lane, and uh, Alchemist is getting stronger and stronger. Now I don't know about you, but a carry Alchemist for me is just as um, terrifying as as a carry Slada. Because Slada can do whatever he wants to him, but if Alchemist is farmed up, you knock me out and kill him no matter what the hell you do. Especially if he gets a radiance on top of him, then the counter push of Pugner is completely gone as well. Um, and then even then, Morphling is still farming towards that Manta very very fast. Um, in that middle lane while he's just being left a free farm. SB just, they're, they're, they're winning the initiations, but I'm just wondering if they're going to fall very, very far behind on the CS scores. Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how LGD pull this one off once they get the, that Radiance up on the, on the Alchemist. And uh, it's, in, it's in SB's hands to, to play the fights right once that happens, because Alchemist, of course, is a terrifying hero. He runs in, he's got that an immense uh, ability of, of tanking he can do and uh, with the Radiance deals a lot of passive damage uh, but of, first off Al, uh, that amplified damage from Slala is going to help a lot against that uh, but but I think the right approach for Stars Boba would actually be to just try to uh, try to ignore the Alchemist as much as possible in the fight and try to pick out the other heroes they do have some crowd controls they've, they've got if they get a shackle shot for instance on that Alchemist then he can stand there and stare for three and a half seconds and uh, eventually getting a hex up on Pagna perhaps and uh, dealing with the other heroes because Alchemist is a melee hero and uh, has to run in close and he doesn't have the same amount of move speed as a Slada does with that sprint on so he'll have to struggle to catch heroes and even then they've got the Crepify so uh, yeah it's hard to say we'll see how it turns out but uh, of course Stars Boba need to be careful not to blow too much on this Alchemist if they can't bring him down yeah, that's definitely true. It looks like they can actually still use Alchemist on the bottom lane. Still free farming up to level 12 now as SB. Just seem to make this momentum move towards the bottom lane. TP support is coming in from CM. Clockwork Goblin still hanging inside the trees as well. Slada Wish Doctor, they're going to be the first scouting party. Rocket flies right on top of him. Great stun from Alchemist. He almost stunned himself off the back of that one. Now Clockwork Goblin gets both of them inside the cogs. The CM Blast isn't going to come. The Frost comes on top of Slada. Still just trying to pull him out of it as Slada is running himself away. He will escape from this one with the sprint. Recliner's actually been taken down as well. Uh, Raw flying over the top. They managed to find Pugna. Go take out that nether wall before they can continue this engagement. VS swap up here, bringing Pugna down a little bit lower. Shrapnel's on top. VS Tony is in a lot of trouble right now, and uh, Morphling will be forced to fall back here. So, what should have been a couple of kills towards um, M, M City or LGD AU, um, not coming off with the goods. They have actually managed to actually get exactly the same amount here. 9 to 9 still stays up on the board. Uh, luckily for for LGD, that alchemist stayed alive. His ultimate just ran out when he ran, went in and stunned, and he got the melodic on and a power shot. And once you've got that, uh, that that dropped him down to half HP. Nothing else than that. A couple of hits as well. Um, if there would have been a, one more hero in that mix, then uh, I think it could have been uh, devastating to LGD. They could oh, have lost alchemist and a couple of more heroes. But twenty yeah, minute manta coming out from Morphling. That's important, and that that is his lifeline against that uh, Slada, um, against the Slada Amplify damage. Of course, when Amplify comes off, uh, splitting with that Manta style is going to remove that debuff, and that's going to be important later on, I can tell, because uh, else Morph is just going to be food. Yeah, he, he definitely will be, because he's got enough heroes to actually make the most of it too. Like, you're, you're, you have Clockwork Goblin as well as Alchemist, two heroes which are hard enough to bring down, especially when both of them have vanguards on top of them. And Clockwork Goblin will be stunning your butt left, right, and center as well, as well as doing rocket damage. Even just pugging up there on the top lane, just trying to free farm. Um, and one rocket just brings him down by about maybe a fifth of his HP. Which doesn't seem like much, but when you go into a battle with a fifth of your HP um, down, especially continuously over, it really starts to hurt after a while. Clockwork Goblin now, now actually, Alchemist, he is farming for Radiance. He's actually almost farmed up his Sacred Relic. 
He's at, um, at 3,300 right now, and that Goblin's Green is really helping him to get a little bit further up. And you know it too. Stun's going to come on through. Alchemist trying to pop off his stun as well. He's going to pop it on the back of the Wish Doctor. Are they going to initiate in this one? Wish Doctor's been swapped in by VS. Slider is now running himself back here. CM still got the rocket off. Actually, now CM Maldick having to fall himself back off a little bit further. As VS goes down. Bong Man, we've already lost here. Alchemist will get himself caught out right now. Oh, no, he won't. Yeah, Maldick will blast him down. And that's an upper clockwork goblin has actually initiated off here, has um, not claimed anyone off, in fact, will actually die himself. Um, so Black Titan going in there completely futilely, 9 to 12, and LGD AU, and that was possibly a very, 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 very insanely large mistake of a fight. Ah, nevertheless, they did get a tier 2 up top, uh, but it's, it's a little bit too costly of a distraction to give Morphling a tier 2. Uh, they could have got away with perhaps only one, one death if they would have played that really well. But uh, yeah, like, like I said, once that engage has been made, once the swap is done, and they take the fight, Slada just ran Oh, Morphling! Morphling is going top! He's actually managed to push the entire top lane by himself. Dwarven Sniper is down to 120 HP out of the harassment that actually came from him. And, uh, well, man, it's about to come off cooldown, but this is, well, not really cheap tactics, but it's definitely, um, keep your eyes open, boys, or else you're going to lose your top, top lane. As, uh, VS actually getting replicated here and has to fight himself. It's like that end of, end of, like, um, Scott Pil Pil Pilgrim takes over the world kind of thing, and you have to battle yourself kind of style. But, uh, 9 to 12, 22 minutes, just, well, just over 22 minutes, in fact, into this game so far, and, uh, well, slaughter free farming bottom lane, but still minimal on items. Very, very low on items. We got a ring and a bracer as Trent's at 22 minutes, so uh, not as far off as, as he'd probably like. And uh, Alchemist is still not that far off completing that sacred relic, and then Radiance ensues. Now he's charging up a stun as well, it seems. Oh yeah, of course I'm behind on the stream, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, Slada, Slada's going to get that Vanguard. It seems he's really close to it. He's, I think he bought the Stout Shield, and he's he's like uh, 10 gold off from that Vit booster, so he will have it now um, for that extra bit of tanking ability. Of course, it's 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 powerful on Slada once you're able to run in, and if you're hard to bring down, Slada is, is different from Alchemist in that respect that you can't just ignore him. Uh, Alchemist is easier to control. He doesn't run that fast. He doesn't have um, he does have a stun, but he doesn't have it as frequently. It's not AOE, um, and in that respect, he's easier to control in the fight. So if Slada has some tank ability, he actually is going to force the uh, LGD boys to fight him. And uh, he's got 1,660 HP right now on the back of quite some armor as well. I think he has six or seven armor. Alchemist has like two. Um, and uh, will be tough to bring down. And uh, they, they'll they have to or he will uh, take out the supports. Yeah, that he will. Actually, I'm loving the fact that the replicate is actually coming. Oh, <laughs> he waves right over the top of Windrunner. Just there, because obviously one ward there by Longman just gave him perfect vision over the top of Windrunner and Pugna, and, and Morphling just waves right over the top. Just literally just playing with him on the top. Um, it's actually come out, Alma Al here comment too. Manda is actually coming up very, very soon. In fact, now completed on top of Dwarven Sniper. Um, only three minutes or so behind. Alchemist in trouble on the bottom lane. Live train coming out from the Pugna. The uh, VS swap has managed to pull him out of trouble. Alchemist, though, is still running out. The uh, Maladic Pop, he takes so much damage. Just analyzed right off the back of it. And uh, VS will also take a fall here. Slider is on the hunt to try and find the T-Pink CM who is going off there. Is there a splash? No, there's not. CM does get herself out there just in the nick of time. And uh, West Doctor and Pugna can't do anything about that one. But Clockwork Goblin still hanging around to see if he can pick one hero off. Um, not going to come anything up there. And, uh, well, everyone just falls back again apart from Morphling who is just continuing to push up this top lane here. Recline a shackle shot it up here on the top. And the longer Morphling keeps this pressure up, the better it's going to be for him. He might even be able to actually bring down this tower and bring down a Rax if he can. But while that's happening, the rest of SB are currently bringing down Roshan. So uh, Slider on the front lines, try and take that one up. Actually, there's somebody else in front of him right now. No, I think it's just a replica or an illusion. Um, but uh, Roshan's still getting stunned and will get brought down. So now an Agassi Mortal will be against the LGDA U side as well, Sind. What items does uh, Sniper have? Sniper will be uh, looking on through. He completed Manta before. Uh, where are you, Sniper? He's in the middle lane. Uh, Sniper currently running around with Aegis, Manta, two Wraith Bands and Treads on strength. Alright. Yeah, if, if he gets one more big damage item up, that Slada in him, you, you will see the effect. Of course, with Manta style already, it's terrifying. Uh, once that Minus Armor is up, all the Manta styles deal a lot of damage as well. They... They're not, of course, Manta styles deal a lot of damage already, but once you get that Amplify on, they really start to hurt. And, um, 
LGD, they they just have they have to get this radiance up and make some good fights with it because Alchemist is the key to victory right now. Uh, you know what they say about Morphling that it's sometimes it can be like playing against six heroes because he's always pushing one lane for you uh -huh. and can TP down with the replicate. Two Alchemists. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> But yes, yeah, still, it's. It, I just have this feeling that it's not going to be enough because he's up against a longer range edgy carry, and uh, they'll have to win on pushing rather than fighting this one. And uh, if if uh, so far recliner, I think he managed to take half of the base tower up top, so he's got some way to go still. And. Uh,